Okay, today I'm going to show you a little demo of LabKey. thought this might be a little uh, easier to do than screenshots or trying to set up accounts and getting people to log in and yada yada yada. Alright, so here we go. We're going to go to the live site uh, on Insilico. So this is running live. Not sure if I should say that or not now that I think about it. Um, hopefully there's no malicious folks out there that are just trying to bang on the site. Anyway, um, here's kind of where I started with this. Um, doing some network visualization. Um, see this come up here. It takes just a second to load the data. So this is a little visualization of, uh, of the network as a hairball since everything's connected to everything in this initial uh, data set. Um, it's not very useful, it was just more of a proof of concept um, that uh, you could use R to access some data. Um, speaking of data, we can scroll down to the bottom and see a view of the expression data. This is actually called a list in LabKey. So it's a little clunky. Um, normally you want to go to a database. It's do a SQL query on the database or something like that, but just to get some things uh, up and running, uploaded one of these lists. Um, so we did a hairball network, uh, an image of the network matrix, the adjacency matrix. This is from a simulated data set we did where you can see the simulated some differential expression here. This is a histogram of all the expression values in the matrix down here. So this is just a little hist function in R. Um, again the trick being to get to the data and run hist and then have the output go here into lab key. Uh, we can go look uh, how we manage some of these things. Uh, there's a list, uh, just a simple list that I up uploaded same thing we saw a view of in the previous view. This is just a way to see it uh, in the list management view. Again, nothing earth shattering here, just proof of concept that it could be done. All right, let's go back. So once we get that going, we really want to see some real data, a real network being visualized, in this case a regain network. Um, go down here into the Emory flu folder. I have to get used to the idea of using uh, lab key specific terminology for folders and projects and this and that and the other. That's a big part of being a computer science person. Anyway, get right to it. I'm going to pop up this view. This is all driven by our JavaScript D3 code. Um, it's using the ext4 JavaScript library because that's what LabKey uses instead of jQuery or something like that. So as you may have noticed the progress bar showed no progress so basically just should have been a message box. I was working on that. That was the last thing I was working on um, a few months ago or whenever was the last time I worked on this. Um, I guess back in February. Anyway so this is sort of like the matrix viewer that I've been working on uh, as a separate project sort of a side project even from OnViz, which is our basic uh, visualization software for our networks. So I took the best parts out of Matrix Viewer and OnViz and sort of stuck them into this lab key project. Uh, so we've got a regain matrix loaded here, upper triangular since it's symmetric. Uh, there's some basic thresholding that I did here uh, on the values in the regain matrix which in our case are T stats for a T test. Um, so this is cutting out a large part of the big giant network here, which is 100 nodes. Uh, we've, this gets it down to 68 and only 223 links. Um, you can run modularity here. This is all dynamic. Um, scale the nodes based on uh, their degree. Scale the edges based on their weights. Uh, also have some control over the actual layout, um, the force controlled layout. 
can probably tell this is not going to be the fastest thing in the world uh, particularly since this is embedded now into a lo much larger JavaScript framework but anyway this works uh, one thing we never got working and I had an email on was being able to click one of these nodes and get the NCBI lookup it sort of works um, the lookup doesn't work but some of this stuff other stuff does work um, these are connected over here uh, if I select one of these guys let's see if we can find one that's uh, so we'll get a fox so it's highlighting this guy but he's way deep in there so um, this is all sort of dynamic here um, a pick and place pretty much works um, so this is very much like onviz um, you can do click on the labels here to get uh, like, uh, modules separated out um, let's see if we can see this guy RAL or cam k4 let's pick that one since that's what we're interested in here start to see cam k4 pop out it's our guy of interest um, So, uh, pretty much works. Uh, a little clunky, various small little glitches here and there. But it's a pretty good start to a lab key uh, integration. What we'll need to do is uh, work with uh, the guys at lab key and their new matrix module or expression matrix module or whatever the final name of the thing is going to be. Um, that way we can just load a geo data set or something like that and once it's in there we can pull it out bring it into these visualization type things and uh, and play with them or I guess the idea so other people can play with them alright so that's lab key what we've got so far in our our lab key and uh, we'll just keep going from here alright